All right, today is my last day before I start my vegan challenge. So, all in. I say we all in. I say we all in, we all in I'm really not the same and I know I'm not Why are niggas so into t- Vegan meal number one, what is it? It's um huh? It's some Thai cauliflower And vegetables and rice uh, Let me try some of this rice first Okay. Smack it. Like I said, tomorrow I go vegan. So gotta get my milk and cookies in now. Today is day number one of this vegan challenge. Gotta do thirty days. This is day number one. Day number uno. So I got off work. And I'm just let you know, Trader Joe's is my best friend, alright? I got some vegan Swedish fish. Vegan waffles. Yeah. Got some veggie chips, you know what I mean? Gonna make something good with this right here. Got some vegetable rice. Got some rice, you know what I mean? Look. Yeah. Yeah. Zucchini. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Got some Brussels sprouts. Got the grilled cauliflower. You know what I mean? Chickenless chicken. Vegan Oreos. You know what I mean? Yeah. Meatless meatballs. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got that cookie butter. Oh, yeah, dog. Start eating these in the car. Started eating these in the car. You know what I mean? Asparagus. Bell peppers and onions. Yeah. Day number one. <laughs> and we're gonna make it. Yeah. We've been doing a 30-day vegan challenge. This is day 16, day 17 by the time you see it. And um, we're just going to tell you a couple things we've been eating and substituting. So, and our number one go-to place, which we really went once. We just bought a whole bunch of stuff when we went the one time. We went to Trader Joe's. 
And if you got money, you could treat yourself to some nice, <laughs> nice vegetable hibachi. It's really good. I think we've had it like two times, maybe. Two or three times. Hibachi. We've had it about two or three times. Yeah, twice. twice. We had it twice. It's really, really good. Vegetable hibachi is banging. We had some vegetable lasagna, which is like really good. Someone told me we made it with a... Uh, uh, the noodles, like you make regular lasagna, but someone told me that we should do try it without the noodles. But there is like uh, a lot of recipes or whatever online, so y'all can check that out and do what you feel is best for you. Anyway, but uh, we had um, vegetable casserole. Vegetable casserole. Oh man, I forgot about that. But that was really good, yo. <laughs> vegetable casserole, <laughs> banging, banging. Uh, so when we went to Trader Joe's, we had uh, meatless meatballs. Oh, we had meatless meatball subs. Oh my god, those are good. They are so good. And I know you like meatless meatballs, bro. It tastes just like a meatball, bro. Like I want you to know that it tastes just like a meatball. Uh, meatless chicken. Meatless chickenless chicken. Chickenless chicken. Chickenless chicken. Yeah, we had chickenless chicken. Um, I don't even remember the chickenless chicken. It was, we had got the orange sauce, and I had made it with the... chickenless chicken with, with the, the rice. Yeah, with the vegetable rice. Vegetable rice? Oh, yeah, the chickenless chicken with the vegetable rice. Yeah. I'm going to give you a little tip, because, I, I mean, it's not it's not good, because the whole point of the vegan challenge is for you to, uh, you know, you're trying to cut back, but, like, a lot, there's a lot of candy that's vegan <laughs> that you can just eat, like... We did eat a lot of candy. When I'm at work, I be, I be getting by on a little bit of candy. And uh, Doritos, the uh, sweet spicy chili joints, they're vegan. Supposedly, they, they're vegan. You look at the ingredients, it's not made with anything that's not. So, those, smacking. I've been smacking those. And like the classic classic Lay's or whatever, they're vegan too because they're really just potatoes, you know. And potatoes are a go. Vegan burgers. Oh, ve- oh the, uh, what's their, what's their, they're called like Mun... Man, Mansa, Mansalas, uh, I, don't know. I don't know, but the burger they at Trader Joe's, yo, these burgers are phenomenal. It was good. They're like with the Indian spices and stuff, bro. It was good. I, yo, dumb good, dumb good. Like, I, honestly, the vegan challenge hasn't been that hard. Like, as long as you got something to eat, you know what I mean. You okay? You good? Like a lot of the stuff, like if you get like chickenless chicken, it tastes just like chicken. It does. Like you gonna bite it, you gonna be like. Yeah, sure. Oh, and we had um, uh, cauliflower. Oh, yeah, cauliflower. Oh, yeah. Oh. We, we did it like it was chicken. Oh, like yeah. Like, you season it, put it in flour and everything, and it tastes just like chicken. Yeah, you could do uh, fried cauliflower, or you could do grill, or bake, or, like, whatever. You throw some sauce on that joint. Mm. What it's, do we eat that with? It's dumb good. Uh, I don't know. Then we eat it with rice. We had rice again? Oh. I think we ate it with rice. Anyways, it, it's, it was it was good. I liked it. It was banging. Um, what else? Uh, what else we been eating? Rice and beans, you know, that's that's a go. Yeah, I had me a bean and rice burrito. That yeah. Was good. Yeah. But you gotta watch out. Your, uh, it's like it's certain breads. Most most places have you know the right joint. Yeah, we went to Chipotle. Yeah. So. uh... What else we been eating? We went to Genghis. Did we went to that place, Genghis Grill? Oh yeah, we went to Genghis Grill. Now that this is if you got a little bit of bread, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no no uh, everyday type joint. Went to Genghis Grill and you like make your own bowl. I wanted some chicken so bad, but I just like pile my junk up with a whole bunch of um, cucumbers, broccoli, uh, vegetables, and you know whatnot. Smacking. Smack it. You, you add your own little seasons. Smack it. Sauces. But, you know, if it's a Genghis Grill near you and you got the money and you about to do this 30 days, go there at least one time and you're going to be it's like, good. you're going to be like, mm. And get some vegetable hibachi from like one of the hibachi spots. You're going to be like, okay. Oh, yeah, spring rolls too. Oh, spring rolls. Yeah. Went to this top place. It's, it's yeah. Really good. They're really good. Um, Drink a lot of water. Mm. Most drinks are vegan. It's just like you can't drink like you know anything dairy. Yeah. 
Uh, what else? You could see a lot of uh, pasta, you know, grains, and beans. So you won't be hungry. Yeah, uh, a lot of vegetables, um, pasta. I mean, once you get to where we at right now, like day 16, it's like, okay. I could definitely go without meat. It's not. I'm not dying to have it. Yeah, I'm really not like fiending to have it. You would think you'd be like, dang, dang. But once you go, like, I don't know. I don't even think about it, really. Now that I think about it, like, during the day, I'm not really thinking about, dang, I want some chicken or something. Like, I don't even really think about it. It's kind of, it's really easy. What else? But if you're like me, my bad, if you're like me, you doing, you're probably doing this challenge because you want to lose weight. You have to remember that diet, that's, that's like the most important part of losing weight, dieting. New, yeah, like your nutrition, but you have to make sure you also work out. Like if you're gonna diet and not work out, I mean, yes, you will lose weight, and you're making um, better decisions as far as eating. But if your goal is to lose weight, you're gonna have to put some work in. Period. Like, yeah. don't expect to just okay, I'm gonna go vegan and I'm just gonna lose weight. Like, nah, you might want to work out too. I was gonna say that. Um we have from Trader Joe's. We have bought some vegan cookies. Oh, they have yeah. They have a whole bunch of vegan. They have like vegan cookies, vegan snacks. Like, if you can try, if you can stay away from it, but you know, you might, you might just need it. You might just need it. You just might just need something sweet. Yeah, you might just need something sweet. And it tastes really good. Yeah, you might just need it. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. It's day sixteen. Going into 17, 13 more mm. days. Can I say something? What? Well, it might be like a little TMI, but you will poop a lot. Just in case no one tells you. I don't. I don't. My, my bowel movements have really been the same. <laughs> I can't really. Well, for some people, you know. For some people, some people, you will poop. go to the bathroom more than usual. But. I guess my body was more like already set up for this kind of well because we already diet didn't eat pork because and we didn't eat a lot of red meat. Yeah, I've been cutting out a lot of stuff. Like I cut out pork a, for a while ago. Uh, I started to cut out beef, uh, and then I just jumped into a vegan challenge and I just cut out meat altogether. So like I kind of already took baby steps towards it. So I didn't do it. I didn't even do it like intentionally. I just decided, like, okay, I'm going to try this challenge out, see how it goes, see if I can make it anyways. But it's it's been really, like, I won't say easy. It has to, I mean. It ain't been hard, though. No, no, no. It, it's just really depend on your situation. Like, if you got the money to survive, you'll be fine. And you have to be consistent. Yeah, just be consistent. If you got the money to survive, you'll be fine, though. That's it, like. That's really it, though. Because, you know, if you ain't got money, you got to eat what you got to eat. True. You ain't going to starve. So, but if you got the money to do it, You can also it. go to um, Harris Teeters. They do have their little section. Where but there, there's a whole ton of videos on YouTube that uh, people, they, they're, the videos, they go into the grocery store. And it'd be like $20 budget. Yeah. And they're show you some stuff you could get for like $20 or whatever a whole bunch of stuff like a week or two weeks worth of groceries especially if it's like you by yourself like whatever you buy will probably last you twice as long like for us stuff is gone like fast it, it's gone pretty quick but yeah man like y'all got any questions I just like let us know I guess we we'll answer them I guess I mean, what? ain't really too. <laughs> you would try to answer them. Don't say you guess your answer. I mean, when I say I guess, it's not like I'm not going to answer them. I'm going to try to answer them to the best of my ability okay. because I'm not a vegan expert. Yeah. But that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. I'm going to throw some clips in here of what we bought, like the actual joint. I'm going to try to add the um, link to the Trader Joe's like vegan list. That I shot from. I bought like almost everything off that list. Yeah. But anyways. Alright. Tell them that the waffles and the cookies are going to be in there. We can go. Oh, they got vegan waffles 
and uh, cookie butter, bro. You, if you make some vegan waffles and spread some cookie butter over that junk instead of some regular butter, because you can't eat regular butter yeah. when you're doing a vegan challenge, spread some cookie butter, bro, it's better than regular waffles. I promise you. <laughs> this is for y'all. Y'all been asking. That's it. That's what I've been eating. Mm-hmm. I've been surviving. You survive. I'm about to get into this another thing next month. I don't know if she's going to do it, but I'm all in. It's not really that hard. I've been kind of doing it since high school without knowing, and I just finally figured out what I've been doing. So I'm just going to do it more consistently next month. But I'll let y'all know about that. Until next time, I'm out of here. I say we all in. We all in. I'm really not the same, and I know I'm not. Why are niggas so entertaining?